I investigate in Mexico's deadly Coca-Cola addiction. Yo, fuck out of talking shit. Let's get straight to the video. This is Chamula, Mexico. The Chamula? town that worships Coca-Cola. The average person... What are you... What was that? This is Chamula, Mexico. The town that worships... What is this? They actually might actually worship Coca-Cola. It's Coca-Cola. The average person here drinks over a half gallon of Coke per day. Almost 40% of adults are obese. And diabetes is the second leading cause of death. Over 35% have diabetes. Do you think there are a lot of people with diabetes here because they have sugar drinks? Mexico drinks more Coca-Cola per capita than any other country. But what impact- Jesus. I always wondered. As someone who always be in the grocery store a lot, I've always thought, who is drinking these Coca-Cola? Colas. Like, I see it. Like, when I think of Coca Cola, I think of everything else except for the actual Coca Cola. Like, the Sprite and all that kind of stuff. I think that's them or Pepsi. I don't know. But, like, who's really consciously drinking these dark sodas? I never knew that. Is Coke having on the locals' health? Why do they love drinking it so much? And can this diabetes epidemic be stopped? I met up with a local named Rudy to find out. <gasps> Look at that. Hey, you can't make this up. Look at all that Coke. It's Coca Cola. Coca Cola. Coca Cola again. So we're headed to Chamula, the Coke drinking capital of the world. Ain't that a drink? Yes. How did Coke enter the religion of Chamula? The people in Chamula, they consider like every time that you need to talk with God, they are like using like a, a rituality. And then into the rituality is present the Coca Cola. Why is Coca Cola in a ritual? People are drinking more Coke than anyone else on earth. Yes. Here is like, uh, wow, it's, I really like it. No, so Mexican Coke really does hit better? Yes. Okay. yes, yes. In my whoa, head, whoa, whoa Badlands Huts. Okay. And on our way to Chamula, I saw this. Oh, look. Nah, I feel like the Mexican Coke probably actually got cocaine in it because they drinking it too damn much. Like, I don't even think Americans is sipping this. Thing like they simply like walk. Coca Cola truck. Oh, there it is. Can we talk to them? Quanto pesos por este? A tres ochenta y cinco. Okay, we got water. It's cheaper to drink the coke than the water. Yes. Okay. That's okay. why. That okay. makes sense now. Chairs. Look at this. Oh, cheaper for right coke. Quantas botellas de Coca Cola bebes al día? Más o menos dos. Un litro. A leader? Baffled by how Coke was in every store out here and far more available than bottled water. I wanted to understand what strategies Coke used to conquer Mexico. But to Have understand to. that, we need to understand their pricing strategy. A little over a dollar, we can get two Cokes. And you can return the bottle. Yes, if you, if you return the bottle, it's, it's cheaper. So if you, you give them back the bottle, you get Coke again yes. for cheaper. Yes. <laughs> what the? the Coke here. Okay. Three liters. Three liters right here. Yes. How common is this in a family household? Very common. Quantos gramas de azúcar en aquí? No sé. They don't know. No, no, no. no one knows. No. Es más popular aquí en esta ciudad? Sí, sí, la verdad sí. Porque para usos y costumbres, por lo regular, por, es un ejemplo. Cuando van a pedir a una, a una chica para esposa de Why? alguien... Los típicos refuerzos que llevan son Coca-Cola. They bring Coke. por paquetes. It's like a bringing offerings. Yes, and that offerings is Coca-Cola. This is 27 for 1.35. <laughs> So, so, so let's not. get it. So when a guy is asking a girl out, the best thing for him to do is to bring Coca-Cola to the date or propose to her with Coca-Cola. Coke in every corner uh, store in the city. Wait. A few water bottles available for sale are mostly the brand CL, which is also owned by Coca-Cola. Given the oh, option between a nice, cold, sugary Coke and a water bottle for the same price, it's no surprise that people here are choosing Coke. But is Coke being honest and upfront about the health consequences it's having on the public? Rudy led me to this basketball court no. to understand a little more. Is that a Coke basketball? They sponsor oh basketball my gosh. Board. This is Coke City. This is Coke City. Yes, it's like a, they, they paint Coca-Cola everywhere. They own the culture. This is crazy. A Coca-Cola basketball hoop. And look, this seems like propaganda. Coke is everywhere out here. This Coke sponsored basketball court is just another example of Coke sponsoring youth sporting events since 2006 as part of their Ponte al 100 program to promote exercise rather than drinking less sugary drinks like Coke. Despite research showing that diet is a far more important factor in obesity and 100%. diabetes than exercise. Today was the celebration of the Virgin of Guadalupe, and Rudy said that during holidays like this, Coke plays a critical role in their traditions and sometimes even religion. Also, oh, is the Jesus. social meetings. And part of the tradition is like a, to share some, they are like a giving normally posh and coke. And in Chamula, where we're headed, some even believe coke has magic healing properties and coke? it's used in Wait, rituals. Oh, my. 
Call each other when they yell at each other. So diability, so diabetes comes from your messed up like interactions with your family members. Yo, Coca Cola has a chokehold on this country. He's drinking Coke. Hola, cheers. But with this much coke here in Zincantan, I could only imagine how much coke they drank in Shamula. But first, we had to meet up with a local Sotzil native to get inside Shamula because this town is exclusively occupied by the indigenous Sotzil Mayan natives, highly suspicious of outsiders, with some even believing cameras capture your soul when a photo is taken. And Shamula okay. has a unique autonomous status within Mexico and their own police force where no outside police or military are allowed in the village and crimes are punished oh, severely. Going so far as to lynch and burn people alive who have committed serious offenses. John, Damn. good to meet you. How prevalent is diabetes here in Shamula? Eh, no hay un porcentaje exacto, pero sí hay enfermedades there are illnesses. que vaya diabetes. Sin embargo, la gente no se pregunta cuál es la causa. Más bien desconoce las causantes. Big. Solo es como se puede decir que Coca-Cola es not ser a una joke. causante, ¿sale? No exactamente Coca-Cola sea la causa. Since when did Coca-Cola become so popular in Chamula? 1994. Es cuando llega la, la Coca -Cola. empresa Coca-Cola en San Cristóbal. Look, look, look. All the soda. What the? We are surrounded by soda and beer of all kinds right now. Do you sell more Coca-Cola or Pepsi here? Eh, Coca. Coca-Cola? Eh. Mucho más Coca-Cola? Sí, si, Coca. Okay. Coke was everywhere. Jesus. But the babies were guzzling it. Coca-Cola, other coca and sodas, and the predominant water bottle company, CL, owned by Coke. I could barely Children. find any Pepsi here, and it seemed like Coke owned literally every beverage out here. Te gusta Coca-Cola o Pepsi? Coca. Coca-Cola owned water compared to the singular Pepsi. The kids sitting alone at lunch. Coca-Cola más o Pepsi? Coca-Cola. <laughs> Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola? La Coca. Right over there. Another Coca-Cola thing. Every square. People Every square. It's Coke like a McDonald's. I could see with practically no water bottles in sight. I wondered how many bottles people drank here per day. Let's ask the people here how much Coke they drink. Coca-Cola bebe uh, al día. Tres? Tres. Cada día? Sí. Um, una. litros en este? Dos litros y medio. Dos litros? So, bebe dos litros al día? See? Big old dude. Two a right day? Uh, Quanto litros mm -hmm. al día? Dos litros. Dos litros? Yes, como un litro. Un litro? Cada día? Sí. Yeah, so not only one are they litre. all drinking Coca Cola, but we got sweets everywhere. We got dolces, dolces, dolces. With highly. Nah, their teeth are screwed, bro. I bet their insides are crying for help. Processed cheap, sugary snacks and Coca-Cola everywhere. I began to notice a concerning trend. Tiene miembros de tu familia con diabetes o no? Uh, sí. Sí. Cuánto? Dos, creo. Say like now they are understanding like the Coca-Cola is too much sugar. Okay. You're drinking, no? Sí. Ya ahora ya no. Okay, ya. No more Coke. It's pretty bad for us. Oh, so, okay, okay, so the youth are understanding that they need to stop drinking all that Coca-Cola. It's the old heads. Can you ask when they came to that belief? Probably. Yes. Es muy mal, ¿sí? Es malo. ¿Tú tienes miembros de esta familia con diabetes? Sí. ¿Sí? ¿Tú tienes? Pa uh, sí, mi papá. En, ¿En el pasado tú bebé mucho Coca-Cola o no? No. ¿No? No, no, no. ¿Qué es la razón por tu diabetes? Pues no me dicen los médicos la razón. Unos dicen que... Por estrés, stress, por others, ah, genetic, I por la alimentación, por hábitos. Probably died in a damn car. ¿La dieta tiene responsabilidad por diabetes en esta ciudad? No. ¿No? ¿En tú conoces muchas personas con diabetes? Sí. ¿Sí? ¿Y tú? Sí, también. Sí. Sí, bastante conozco. Como unos amigos. Serán tal vez como unos 10, 15 que conozco de que tienen. 10, 15 year olds have diabetes? Este. Igual estrés, estrés, trabajo, problemas familiares, económicos. No, dieta. Este, 
Pues no creo que no. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay, yeah. They're, 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 they're brainwashed by Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola, what have you done, gang? Diría que no. He thinks diet has nothing to do with any of it. Yes, they have no do you think he's right? No, no, he's not. There's no he's way, not. right? Yes, no, 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 but they, they are not connecting. Dots need to be connected here. Yes. ¿Tú tienes miembros de tu familia con diabetes? Sí. ¿Se beben Coca-Cola? Sí. ¿Mucho? Oye. Sí, mi papá, mi abuela. La mayoría de las familias mexicanas consumen mucho Coca-Cola. Okay. ¿Qué Coca es en sus dietas de tu miembros de tu familia con diabetes? Creo que sí, el azúcar. Más que nada el azúcar. Have you guys seen a lot of people drinking Coke out here? Yeah, a lot, a lot. Crazy, right? Oh, wow. Like a lot of Coca-Cola yeah, everywhere. Like, just, like, it replaces water, I feel like. Yeah. That's replacing what we Replacing water? Coca-Cola was strategic in placing themselves here? Oh, yes. Hell of a lot of people. They worship Coca-Cola in some of the churches. Yeah, they absolutely. What? If I go somewhere and they are worshiping Coca-Cola the drink, the stuff you see in like restaurants, grocery stores, they are worshiping Coca-Cola like Jesus Christ himself. I think it's time to move planets. I'm going to be honest. I think it is time to move planets. Because what do, what are you doing? You're worshiping Coca-Cola, the company. Oh, what? They have shops where it's piled, I don't know, like three meters high Coca-Cola cans and bottles. And it's just unbelievable. From most people you've spoken to out here, do you think they're aware of the health consequences of the excess they can't be. cola consumption? No. No, no. Some of them even go to like little witch doctors or whatever you call yeah, them. Yeah, and they, they try and cure their diabetes with a bit of Coca-Cola, so. And you've seen <laughs> funerals even on these streets, right? Mm -hmm. Have any of these people acknowledged like this guy died due to diabetes? Oh yeah, it's common. Yeah. You see people missing limbs and stuff like that. And really? You find out they're diabetic. But a lot of them are unaware, like really unaware. Do you have members of your family with diabetes or no? Tuve. Sí. Okay. Diabetes. Uno, dos, tres. ¿Tú tienes miembros de tu familia con diabetes? Ah, sí. Sí. Aquí es. ¿A todo? No, casi. ¿Por qué? Everyone almost. ¿Cómo es azúcar? Azúcar en la dieta. Galletas. Dulces. Bebidas. Everything. Even with the flour. Diabetes is everywhere. ¿Cuántos botellas de Coca-Cola se bebe al día? Tres. Gracias. Chao. We are addicted, no? With the rate of diabetes, of course they're addicted to damn sugar. In the U.S. and their obesity rates close behind. The solution to this health crisis isn't as simple as switching out Coke for bottles. Yo, I ain't gonna lie to you. Imagine being a fat person minding your business throughout the day, and you see some random camera crew just taking pictures of your body. Like they just, they, you know what I'm saying? They just walk around and hit you with these. You know what I'm saying? Because they try to put you in one of them documentaries about fat people. I feel so dis... I feel ashamed of myself. I'd have to start changing my life decisions. Water. Yeah, to understand why people are, are buying too much Coca-Cola because if somebody in the top of the mountain doesn't have money, the Coca-Cola say, okay, I come and I give you a fridge. I come and I give you uh, chairs and tables. And then say, okay, what do you have to do? You sell Coca-Cola. Mm. They don't have... Yeah, Coca-Cola is mafia at the end. The problem Damn. is that... Now we stop buying Coca-Cola, but then we are going to be buying Ciel. So at the end, we are giving the money to them. We're still giving Coca-Cola. These guys, they are not going to give you back some money to pay to the state to have uh, health care. No, they want to kill you. People in the top of Coca-Cola, that they want to have every every soda you know, all over the world, you know? Sure. That's the mentality. Jeez. So that's what is killing people. So we had Bro, man a in. bottling plant on the outskirts of the neighboring town of San Cristobal. We are looking for a Coca-Cola deposit. Okay, we are on the lookout for a Coca-Cola deposit. I don't know what that means. What is a Coca-Cola deposit? The biggest storage about Coca-Cola. Oh, I see. This Coca-Cola deposit sells their Coke to small street vendors this, like we've seen. This bottling plant is one of the primary causes of this health epidemic because it drains Theme over song? 1 million gallons of water per day, depleting the local source of drinking water and selling it back to them in the form of sugary Coke they typically choose in oh, favor geez. of the CL water brand that Coke also owns. How many of no. you struggle to get water every week? Todos los días. Coca. All right, we've made it to the Coca-Cola. Oh my gosh, this is disgusting. Here. This is where they bottle Coke bottles. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's walk a little further here. So we're seeing people in the red. They work for the Coca-Cola plant. Yes. Es tu trabajo? Es mi trabajo. Uh, how many bottles per dia? 300,000. 300,000? 300,000 bottles per day. Whoa. Straight from the source there. That's a lot. Okay. It's not possible to do. To go outside? Yeah. Got a little peek. All the flowers in there. Not sure what that means. Maybe all the lives they've killed. Curious to see. Oh, if we can I wouldn't find be surprised. Recipe in action. We threw the drone sure. up to survey the area, but all we can see is get the scale of how much coke was being produced and consumed here in the Chapas region. Oh my gosh! 
Yo, I like brownie mix, but still, that's a lot of Coca Cola. Ew! We have environmental goals. Yeah, it's yeah, like a, a promoting like a yeah, like a hiring people all the time, and it's like a more than five thousand people working. It. Uh, they are like a propaganda. After observing some of the rather hypocritical mission statements on the wall, I asked some employees that worked here if they knew anyone with diabetes. ¿Cuántas personas en tu familia tiene diabetes? Una. Mi mamá. Sí, el ma mi hermano mayor. De mis tíos. Tus tíos. Beben Coca-Cola? Sí, antes, sí. Obviously, countless oh, people wow. are getting diabetes Everybody. because of their excessive consumption of Coca-Cola. But the problem is Coca-Cola is everywhere. You find it easier than you can find water out here. Well, the irony of these people working at the factory that produces the Coke, that causes the diabetes, that causes their death. Even six feet under, Coke has managed to ingratiate themselves in the culture of the afterlife here. Rudy took me to a local graveyard wait, wait, to see wait. this firsthand. Oh, it's everywhere out here now. Coca-Cola. Oh my gosh, even Coca-Cola. Like, I'm at, I'm even Coca-Cola at your grave? Like, you'll drink the Coca-Cola, get diabetes, and you die from pretty much Coca-Cola. And then you'll go and die, and then they'll surround you by Coca-Cola because they love it so damn much. Tied to the flowers in a two liter of Coke. Another can of Coke right here. Another bottle of Coke. Rudy, what's the significance of these Cokes out here? It's, it's about like um, the people, they are like bringing offerings to the cemetery. So the Coca-Cola, Pepsi, Fanta becomes part of their life. So that is why it's I present see. in the cemetery. Even the flowers being held are in old two liters of Coke. Yes. Part of their what? lives. What? Yes. While they were alive. Yes. It doesn't necessarily have any religious connotation, but when it's- I expect not to have no religious connotation, bro. You're putting Coke at cemeteries, bro. How does that make any sense? Uh, ¿Qué es la razón por la Coca-Cola? Ah, porque solo lo pones. Since the 1960s, favorite Coca drink when they were alive, the indigenous bro. population here in Chiapas with localized marketing campaigns that combined Coca Cola bro. with the symbols and traditions of the people here, resulting in the most loyal Coca Cola I customers know. on earth, almost five times more soda than the rest of Mexico. But at what cost? Hey, I'm here with Marco Sarana. I'm a medical anthropologist working for as a, as a researcher for the National Institute of Nutrition. Is it too late to reverse this diabetes epidemic here? Here in Chiapas in Mexico. We need to develop more aggressive strategies to halt the consumption of Coca-Cola. Also get more water. The problem of lack of adequate water. I mean, the, I was we need to more investment in providing safe water for the population so we can promote consumption of simple water. This is a must for promoting health. This is also the responsibility of the government to give more information to promote oh, regulation. But you know the government locked in with Coca-Cola though. Come on. Due to Coca-Cola's recruitment of local vendors on nearly every corner of every street to advertise and sell Coke, clever marketing campaigns targeting poor and uneducated indigenous communities, and political connections within Mexico, like the former president Vicente Fox, whose political career was conveniently funded by Coca-Cola. I knew it! I knew it, bro! It was locked in with the president! ...on the local water supply, unless these people receive real education on the deadly consequences Coke is having on their health, it looks like Coke will continue to kill Dialysis. the people here until there's no one left to drink themselves to death. And even then, they'll keep drinking. Rudy, if someone wants to visit this beautiful country of Mexico with you, where can they find you? Chiapas Experiencias through Instagram. Go check out Rudy right here. Come to Mexico. This place is epic. Bro, that is actually sickening. Let me see something real quick. Mess up tabs. Bro, if you enjoyed the video, I hope you subscribe to the channel. It's your boy, Kadeb Salome. Catch you on the next one.